Hello, I'm Atubo George and I'm here with my precious wife. Maria George. And we have been sharing our 10 years journey with you. And every day on this broadcast, our desire, and this is our sincere desire, that the Lord will use our own experience to bless you. Now why, you know, sometimes because we Sometimes we preach and say, don't preach your experience. Now, when your experience is good, <laughs> and then and then when your experience is deliberate, see, see the, the thing about the thing about um, what we're sharing is the fact that we were deliberate from the, the beginning. beginning. Yeah. That this is exactly what we wanted. You know what I mean by that? The, the word we, that's what I'm talking about. Okay. We, we made up our, you know, I said it in the first broadcast. To be a good husband, to be a good wife, it's simple. Be a good, good Christian. Christian. Yeah. Be a good Christian. And a good Christian is one who have, first of all, accepted the fatherhood of God yeah. over their lives. Right. And then number two, which is the most important, now this is where the display of a good Christian comes in. Being led by, by the Spirit, the Spirit of, God. of God. The Bible says, for as many as are led by the Spirit, they are the sons of God. Praise God. So we're going to be going, sharing more things with you this week, and we trust that the Holy Spirit is going to bring out some truths and use that to minister to you. And I pray, we pray that um, your life will truly become a testament. Amen of God's truth in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. But before we go into the before we go into it, can we call for that daily bread? We are not going to forget that because it's very, 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 very important. Praise God. Hallelujah. Join me right now. Join us right now as we declare say Father. Father. I demand today. I demand today. My daily bread. My daily bread. It's coming to me now. It's coming to me now. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Now don't be so eager about listening to what we have to say and forget to make this declaration. This is very very important. important yes. <laughs> it's very important because if your needs are not met you won't want to hear anything eventually that's just the truth so so we are careful to do these things and and we, we receive testimonies you know yes. people say oh since you know since this thing we started declaring this daily yes. bread i just realized things have become easy for me somehow yeah you know that's that's how the spirit of god works praise god so so i was saying before this that a good Christian is one who's led by the Spirit of God. The Bible says, as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. There is no other way to show that you are a son of God until you are led. And led by the Spirit of God, being led by the Spirit of God is not only when you do church things you know that's the thing that people don't understand being led by the spirit of god is no the spirit of god led me to read the bible the spirit of god led me to uh, to go to church the spirit of god led me to do hey your day to day living yes you know this morning i was meditating on something and then the lord spoke to me and said he, he just said to me and, and i've never thought about it straight like this before and then he said, a Christian wedding, or a, a Christian wedding is not just the one that took place in church or takes place in church. A Christian wedding is a wedding that you can point out the involvement of the Spirit of God in everything that they do. Exactly. That's what makes it a Christian wedding. So yes. the fact that you got married in church doesn't mean it was a Christian <laughs> oh, we, we even married in church. Why are we facing all these challenges? Hey. What is God? What did uh, God say? What is He saying now? Yeah. It's God. You know, that's now, came by. now that's what we're, 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 we're being playing to you. This is what went through our minds. This is what we experienced. And this is what we made up our minds for. And this is the result. Ten, yes. ten wonderful Yes. Yeah, I'll tell you the truth. It's been 10 wonderful years. Praise God. So yesterday we stopped at work. 
Oh, okay, you you were saying that uh, you asked me that question about okay, look beyond spirit said, beyond God said, what are you saying? <laughs> Very important. Yeah, and 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 you know, I was explaining that uh, look, I got to that point. I had to ask myself that same question, question also. Yeah. Yeah. Now, it's not. It shouldn't be um, a mystery that you will ask me a question that I've already asked myself. myself. After all, I was your father. Yeah. I trained you. <laughs> so that those are the, those are the, that, that's how I have trained you to think. To think. Yes, yes. You, you know, we're not going to be an exception. Exactly. You had to pass yeah. through the no, test no, well. no. You know, I, I made up my yeah. mind for that. That yeah. I'm not going to cajole you because mm -hmm. I'm your father. I can actually just. You I know, wouldn't even start. have. I wouldn't let you catch on me. <laughs> no way. Imagine. Because <laughs> I was proposed to. I was not going to stop my marriage at all. I, I, God had taught me. You had taught me as well. God had taught me. Right? No, even the even though so, I, I wasn't going to do that because yes, because even yeah. in my heart I had to test mm -hmm. that this is the spirit of God. Oh, yes. And yes. if it's the spirit of God, then number one, His word will come. Mm -hmm. Number two, His word will keep coming. Mm -hmm. Number three, the manifestation will show yeah. that this is the spirit of God. Now, can of I, course. Okay, can I chip in something? Okay. Why you just said that? I remember how you used to tell me back then that <coughs> there is process, and then every step of the journey has its challenge. Yeah. So if you cannot overcome a particular challenge in the process, then you have to pause. Yeah. So no shortcuts. No, okay, let's see how it's going to be. Yeah. No. If you have questions, ask. If mm. you have doubts, voice it out. If you have concerns, talk about it. Oh, you know that? You know, I tell people when, when, when I go and counsel people getting married, I said, look, it's a journey. Yeah. Now, that's what you're trying to say. There's yeah. a process. Yeah. It's a journey. And in that journey, you will cross several bridges. Exactly, that's the and word. And you must cross every bridge with all sincerity and in honesty. Your heart. Yes. You cannot overlook a bridge Anything. and assume you have crossed it. No. You cannot false cross a bridge. Yes. No. Oh, let it be. Mm. Maybe, maybe you're maybe. dating someone, mm -hmm. and then you know something is wrong, mm -hmm. or the person tells you. Oh, this is it, but don't tell anybody mm -hmm. about it. Mm -hmm. And then you two keep quiet. Mm -hmm. You have just um, put Introduced. the thing that's going to destroy that yes. marriage right there. Introduced. Yeah, that's the truth. So also, every challenge that comes on that no journey is a test yes. of the, the surety mm -hmm. that this thing is built to last. Yes. So if you get to a bridge where you honestly cannot cross, you see, there is no, there is no mistake about. There is no playing out. This is your life. Mm -hmm. If you honestly cannot cross that bridge in that relationship, mm -hmm. there is no point going further. Oh. I mean, it can end right there. Yes. That's just it. It can end right there. Now, sometimes you know people say, "Oh, um, but God told me that's my husband," but the guy never showed up to propose, or. God told me that's my wife and then I proposed to her and then she didn't accept my proposal. So did I, is it that I didn't hear from God or is it that now, hear this when it comes to marriage and I want you to listen attentively. Individuals have their will and even if God says this is your wife, that person also, because see, it takes two to tango. Yeah. The fact that, that God can tell you that's your wife. And then if the person, now you yourself, you are prepared to live a life that is committed or totally submissive to the Lord. Yeah. But then, and then God truly can, have, can plan and say, this is the person I want you to get married to. But then if the person have not trained him or herself in living that kind of submission to the Lord. Now you, you go to the person and say, oh, look, oh, you're my wife or... You know, you're my husband. Where most times it's, it's not ladies that. Well, ladies are getting bold these days. Yes. <laughs> God. Anyway, yeah. anyway. So, so you know, um, and then you go tell the person, look, this is. Uh, I want to get married to you. Or I like you, or whatever. And the person says no. And then like, ah, but God told me, and God told me. Understand this. Everybody have 
their yeah. own will. Yeah. And in your will, you can accept God's will or you can reject God's will. Yeah. Now, the fact also that God have told you something, the, the, the important thing you have to do for yourself is to accept it. Don't just do it like, like oh, it's because God said I should do it. Mm -hmm. You must sit down and analyze that thing and see the wisdom of God in, in that thing. That's yeah. when you now accept, accept it. it. So Always. when you ask me that question, mm. you know, it's something I've already thought about. Like, okay, look, I don't want to just get married because God said, mm. you know. Now, of course, in our life, we've had experiences you know, with, with different situations yes. where you know, look, you have to be very deliberate and careful mm. in, in these dealings now. Mm. Now, so I thought about it and I said, okay, if God just points him, because he's not going to tell you, marry her or you die. <laughs> no, like that's, that's the direction you should go. Mm. Okay. So what's the wisdom in this? And now, of course, who are you asking? You're asking the Lord. Mm. What's your wisdom? This? Yeah. Then he begins to show you all, everything. Now, for example, yeah, he begins to open your eyes. Like for me, truth. for me, the more I thought about it, the more I began to realize, so what exactly are you looking for? Mm. I mean, really, mm. what exactly are you looking for? Mm. Now, all these things, I was blinded to them. Prior now, yes, because you know the truth about being blind is <laughs> to blind a man means, simply means giving me vision. Mm. <laughs> you understand? If I want to blind you on, on, on this, I'll give you something else to, to look, look at. at. So I think, exactly. yeah, that was the blindness that was working yeah, yeah. in me. Now, I was my eyes were on everywhere Some, else, you yes. know, looking for, and they never looked this way. Mm. Now I believe. I mean, I, I believe that's the truth that God deliberately did that. Yes. You know, More like for the to help us. Time. Yeah. Yes. To, to help us. Yeah. I, I believe so. Yes. Looking back now, I, I believe so. So, and I, I asked myself that question. And then the more I thought about it, the more I realized. So, okay, but no, I want, you know, uh, uh, no, but, but, but okay, you know, all those questions <laughs> began to be answered in my heart. Mm -hmm. So before you even ask the question, I had gotten the answer for answer, myself. Sorry. So I was I was armed, mm -hmm. you know. So I I you know when you asked me that question, I'm like, no, this is beyond thus say the Lord. Mm -hmm. I've made up my mind that this is what I want. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. And I made up my mind based on the convincing of, of the, the of the Lord. Yes. But yes. that's very important. And other things that your eyes are now open to see that you and 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 you in, may acknowledge yeah, see before before then. Yes. I know it's the same thing with everything we do in life. Yeah. God can tell you start up a business. Mm -hmm. Now, it's foolishness, or it will be foolishness for you to just jump and go and start that business. I say God says I should start it here. The business will succeed because God says I should start it. It will succeed. It might fail. Mm -hmm. The reason it might fail is not because God did not speak. That business have some rudiments. I mean, rudiments in, in, in carrying Meeting it out. Riches. Now, if you don't study yeah. and understand how that thing works. works. Now, when I say study, understand this. It's because sometimes people miss. It, 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 the, the secret is always in the details. Mm -hmm. Now, when we say study, I'm not saying go carry business books and start reading. See, what you need is the basic understanding of how that thing works. And you get that by, of course, reading books. You get that by listening to people who yes. have been in the business. But while you are doing this, you are waiting for the teacher himself to be your teacher. Yes. So you don't, because you read in a book that this is the principle of this business, and then you take it to heart and say, this is how. No. When you read in a book that this is the principle of this business, wow. Holy Spirit, why would you say I should do this? He will give you the truth behind that principle. Yes. Now, now, that is what will bring about the success the in that yes. business or whatever. It is the same thing with marriage. Now, yes. we're talking about marriage, yeah. 
It's the same thing with marriage. Okay, so why would God want me to marry this, this person? person? Yes. And I'm not going to judge by, oh, come to think of it. She's a fine girl. Mm. At least my daughter is grown. Hey. <laughs> you know? Beyond all, why? Okay, she's a fine girl. Yeah. Then allow the Holy Spirit to define that word fine, fine or beauty for you. Okay. You understand? Oh, she she's oh she's diligent. She's she's this. He will point to those qualities. He will out. begin to bring. I know the truth about it. I'll tell you a very deep secret about life. If his word comes concerning that thing. There is life in it. Yes. If God's word comes to you concerning anything, anything. he has just injected life, life in that thing. So you can go to sleep after taking that decision. Because you know. Now, and, and guess what? He watches over his word to so, perform. Exactly. So if God tells you, marry this person he has put light and life in that direction mm -hmm. now it doesn't matter what you think or what your reservations are mm -hmm. if you follow him because of what he said he will watch over his word to, to perform it now it doesn't mean challenges will not, not come, come along the way mm -hmm. But this is the truth. When the challenges come, don't go seek how you will sort out the challenge. Go back to him. The voice. Go back the to voice. him. And now that's been our secret. Yes. In every okay, okay. So, so now we passed that stage. Maybe you should. Maybe I should let you talk. So I gave you an answer. <laughs> so, wow. Yes, 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 yes. You gave me that answer. Among several other answers, yeah. you talked about okay, you seen me handle children, so you're kind of like confident that I'll be able to partner with you to raise our children. You talked about yeah, cause uh, family. Oh, it's you know sometimes we we'll, we'll, we'll start like we wonder we, we, where do we enter from? <laughs> it's it's vast. Before I got married, before I made up my mind to get married. Yeah. I had done a lot of studying and fellowshipping with the Lord. And I had, I, had, I had come to this conclusion that family is very important to God. The Lord said something to me one day that shook me as in I, you know, he said to me, he said, son, do you want to be a blessed man? Mm. Or do you just want me to use you? Yeah. Now, when God asks you a question like that, like, I mean, not naturally, not like, but if God is using me, I'll be blessed now. You understand know what I'm saying? But for him to ask me that, now, be smart. I do that. <laughs> I say, Lord, I know you want to tell me something I don't know. That's, he will ask me a question and I'll just give him an answer that I know. No, I know he wants to tell me something mm -hmm. I don't know. I say, Lord, I know you want to teach me something. Go ahead, I'm listening. And then he said this to me. He said, if you want to be blessed, then you must be family oriented. Because the blessing, I can't say Agada. <laughs> I'm just feeling those chills. I felt the same day he said that to me. He said, the blessing is always confirmed in, in the, the third, third generation. generation. So now God can use you. And he began to show me examples in scriptures. Mm -hmm. Samuel was a man of God who the Bible said his word never fell to the ground. But then the Lord said to me, Do you know Samuel was not a blessed man? Like, what? <laughs> you understand? What? Wow. Abraham was a blessed man. Yes. And God said something specific about Abraham. Now, I'm saying this because, you know, you made a statement and I told you that I've seen how you, you take care of children, children. and I see you're passionate about children. Mm. Now, that was very important to me mm. because I knew that I'm preparing for a life 
of a blessed man. So if that is the truth, then I've got to be concerned about how I raise your our children. children. Yes. Now, if you're concerned about how you raise your children, you've got to then believe that you will have children yes. in the first yes. place. Yes. So I didn't leave those things to chance. Uh -uh. I, I knew that, okay, I'm going to have children and then I'm going to be particular because God said about Abraham, I, I know, know him. him. He will command his, his children, children and his household after him yeah. to keep the, the way of the Lord so that God will bring to pass the things that he has said concerning Abraham. Abraham. <laughs> now, the things God said to Abraham, he said it to him when he had no child. And God is saying now, he still didn't have a child. And God is saying he will command his children so that they, the children, will keep the way of the Lord so that God will bring to, to pass. Christ. Meaning, if your children deviate from the way of the Lord, now God will never fulfill no, everything no he has spoken to you yes. in your time here. Yes. There are things, the Bible says, a good man leaves an inheritance for his children's children. children. Mm -hmm. That inheritance is not land, money, house. No. That inheritance is in God. It is the blessing that we have received from the Lord and setting out that pattern. Mm -hmm. Abraham didn't have to draw it in Isaac. You must know the Lord. You must know the Lord. Isaac didn't have to draw it in Jacob said, you must know the Lord, you must know the Lord. No, by the patterns they set, God himself visited Isaac. Yeah. And God himself visited yeah. Jacob. Yeah. Jacob left home without knowing, fully knowing God. His first encounter with God was when he left home. Mm -hmm. To all the while in his father's house, he never encountered God. But he saw in his father testimonies about God. So when God showed up, to Jacob, God said, I am the God of your fathers. Mm -hmm. Now, if their fathers had not shown a good example, uh, Jacob would have said, please, sir. <laughs> I don't think I want to have anything to do with you. So we want our children, when God visits them, yeah. and say, I'm the God of your father. They're like, wow, I have heard of you. Yes. Nah, I'm hearing of you. Mm -hmm. I'm hearing you. Yes, myself. Praise God. So that was very, very important. Very key to it. So I I watched. No, now I was doing my own checklist based on. Now that's why it says you must you must hear God for your future. You must hear God. The kind of future you want to have, you must hear God. And you begin to follow that pattern. Yes. yes. So that was another tick <laughs> for me. <laughs> that was another tick that, oh yeah, I didn't, yeah, that aspect. Okay, she can have. Now God have said this is this is the person. Mm -hmm. So now okay, does this person fit into these this things? Thing, you know, then yes, God. Yes. And then I began to tick them. Yes. Go ahead. I have a few God, minutes. These are the things that you know, like you said, the the check was what God was teaching you. Yeah. As to the kind of family that he wanted you to have. Exactly. So there must be purpose. There must be vision. There must be purpose. Before you, don't wait until mm -hmm. you get married. Now mm -hmm. start sorting out. No, we have a purpose. Mm -hmm. Then the person you're getting involved with must yes. align. Line. Now, when we say must align, doesn't mean full blown. Mm -hmm. But there are certain seeds. Signs that would. You must yeah. see the seed yes. in there. Yes. For example, my number one seed was the fact that you hear God the for word. yourself. Yeah. That's my number one thing, that you hear God for yourself. Now, why is that very important? It means I can sleep. Now, it doesn't mean I want to sleep, but what it just means that, oh, yeah, Lord, I know you know what to tell her to do, and she will know, she will do the right thing. That's it. That's why I mean, rest. Praise God. Hallelujah. Time is up. It is. <laughs> Praise we'll God. Continue tomorrow. Ooh, glory. <laughs> now, just one mm. point. No, but but God you see, is deep. you see, we we are taking this in step by, by step. step. We're not rushing. Mm -hmm. Oh, we got married in this one. No, no, no. We're taking it step mm -hmm. by step. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Hallelujah. Can we just bless? Thank you, Father. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I pray everyone watching this today i ask that you remember them 
Amen. for good. Amen. Any area in their lives they need repair, Lord. Amen. Can you step in because we ask of you? Amen. And start a new thing in their lives. Amen. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Now, if you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel, please do so now. And help us share this video to all your... She just shared everywhere. Praise God. We'll see you tomorrow. God bless you. Bye.